Hi, Leslie. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. First of all, then, just tell us your who you are and your role in the team. Yeah, I am Leslie Allen Rowan. I have worked for Virgin Media for 24 years, and I am the Technology Service Centre Manager, which obviously is a IT service desk. What made Virgin want to get involved, in, and what do you think was the main motivator behind um, entering for the award? Well, we applied. Uh, we, we entered in 2012. Um, we were runners up um, out of the final three. We, we always knew as a service desk that we did provide really what we thought was really good customer service for the customer and what the customer expected. To be honest, we wanted an independent party to confirm that for us. Um, we, we spent a hell of a long time pulling the pack together, six months plus. Um, I'd like to thank Richard Gilder, who is one of my team leaders who helped do that. Um, we, we pulled the pack together, we entered, and as I said, we came the final three. We knew from then that if we've made the final three, that obviously what we're doing, we're doing really, really well. We got some fantastic feedback from the SDI. Um, and what we decided to do was re-enter in 2013. Um, we reinvented our pack. We looked at the recommendations from the SDI. We improved on it. Um, we changed some things, and eventually we won, which has proven the fact that what we've actually done, um, we've made a complete success of it, and you know we've been awarded one of the best service desks. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, as you say, even even entering on years where perhaps um, you know you, you don't finally end up winning is still provides some some um, benefits really in terms of looking at the recommendations and improving it for the next time and things like that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, entering, as I said, you get positive feedback. It's constructive feedback. It's it's from independent people who look at your desk and, and see sometimes the areas that you don't see yourself. Um, you take that away and, and, and you work on it. You improve on it. You go back in for the award. Whether you win, whether you don't, at the end of the day, positive feedback is always the best thing, and you can only ever improve on that. Yeah, definitely. Did you involve the whole team in the process, or was it something that was a sort of a, a team was put together for, if you like? Or? A team wasn't put together for it. I have a fantastic team of people, analysts through to leads, through to team leaders. Richard's just one of the team leaders. You know, we've we've got numerous other team leaders who, again, were supportive, really supportive in pulling the pack together. We all decided to split the pack in the categories. Um, and, and take away a chunk of that and pull it all together. But Richard was quite pivotal in pulling it all together. And I think what you need is a team of dedicated, professional, hardworking analysts, team leaders, and everything else to be able to win it. Because if people don't invest and don't believe in what you've got, you're not going to win. They, they've got to believe in it 100%. And they yeah, did. Exactly. Yeah. So you mentioned as well six months plus pulling it together. But if someone was starting from scratch, would you say it's about right six months? Um, I'd say the first pack was probably about six to eight months mm -hmm. of of hard work, dedication, pulling all the different categories together, and it wasn't any easy feat. So you know anyone out there who's going to apply for it must remember, you know, it's it, it's quite strict, but it's well worth doing. The second time, because we already had a pack, obviously we needed to make the adjustments, that the, the recommendations, all positive again. But yeah, I would say probably about six to eight months hard work, not every day, um, but you need the whole team to help you pull it together. Yeah, sure. Okay, and so then looking at winning, you know, when you found out, um, what effects has it had on the on the team? Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Our our. HODs, directors, CEO, always knew that we did a good job based on our feedback from our customers. But winning something that's so recognized um, as an achievement is something different. So what it's done is confirm what we already knew. You know, we do a fantastic job. We do it for the customer. It's all for the customer. And, and all it's done is reaffirm the fact that, you know, we are, we are one of the best. And so we're going to shout about it, and, and they're really, really pleased about it, and the business love the. Yeah, well, that was my next question, really. So we obviously internally, 
across the business, um, it can have a knock-on effect. And do you feel like the, the perception has changed at all? Being honest, um, some organisations see a service desk as a call logging desk. A service desk is not a call logging desk, in my opinion. They are the heart of any organisation. You've got qualified technical people who have to know disparate amount of applications, support the business throughout, which most of the support teams, second or third line, can't do. My view is this type of award actually shouts out to any business, look at a service desk, treat it with respect, because that's the way it should be treated. And the business within Virgin Media, media see it, believe it, and actually support it. Fantastic. Okay, so I mean, it, it sounds like there have been lots of benefits, sort of almost as a side effect of getting involved with the awards, of winning the award itself as well. Um, what would you say to other organisations looking perhaps at getting involved? And there is a lot of work, yes, but um, would you would you recommend it? I don't think you can get any type of better recognition. Again, uh, I've been a service desk manager for a number of years. You, as I said before, you get a number of organisations who think we are log it and flog it type of desks. We're not. We're qualified people. We're technical people. We're passionate people. You know, to get that recognition as an industry standard, you, you can't get any better than that. And, and anyone who thinks any different are fools, in my opinion. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think the benefits have just been fantastic, and they are. And it, it's proven it. We've got one of the best desks here. We've got people who are professional, they are passionate, they are interested, they really care about the customer and you you can't ask for any more from your staff and that's one, for the environment you create and two, because you're getting recognised from an industry standard perspective, look, mm. you're doing a fantastic job and we're going to shout about it. So more fool anyone who doesn't bother applying, but it, it is well worth it, definitely do it, but beware, it's hard work. Okay, so okay. what what would you if you could only give them kind of one tip, people are about to enter, what would you what would that be? Make sure you've got a very very strong support team. Um, your team leaders, your analysts, people invested in wanting to win this, they've got to be absolutely passionate about the job they do, in order to be able to win it because it 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 can't you can't bluff it you know yeah. It, it, yeah, you, you have know. To do the, Absolutely. Yeah, the reality. Okay. Breathe it, and you've got to be passionate about it. So have a really strong, dedicated team around you who all want the same thing. That's what my tip is. Well, that makes perfect sense. And so with with the win and everything after that, how did you? I mean, first of all, how did you celebrate? Celebrate. Well, what we did, um, we are champions of a of a local charity called Dolly Hall. So the um, the the check we actually donated. Okay. Um, so they could replace their roof, and yeah. that is for children, underprivileged children who are unable to afford any kind of holiday. So we donated that money to that, and we self-funded through internal charity events a uh, sum of all. And it was a brilliant night, and we all celebrated it, and we showed the award off, and we've got it in a fabulous glass cabinet. Fantastic. Okay, brilliant. So, um, and what what's next for you guys? I mean, uh, do you have your sights set on anything to work forward to for um, next year? Oh, uh, we would love to go back in the SDI award and smash it again for 2014. Mm -hmm. But hey, we've got so. Um, at the minute, for for us on the service desk, we've got um, a Lean Sigma project going on, okay. which is what we call the Drive to Five, um, which would make us the um, service desk of excellence. Also, we're looking at further automation, looking at improving things even further for the customer, and um, more road shows to understand what our customers want and how we can improve, um, and and also looking at what other awards we can go out and win next year. Exactly. Yes. Fantastic. All, right. <laughs> All the best of that, Leslie. And thank you for um, talking to me about it today and sharing your story. You're welcome. Um, and uh, yeah, all the best for next year and years to come. Thank you very much. Take care. Thanks. Bye.